In this lecture, we will cover test analysis activities. Test analysis is the third activity in the test process. And in the previous lecture, we saw during test analysis, the test basis is analyzed to identify testable features and define associated test conditions. Now we will cover five major activities of test analysis as mentioned in the ISTQB syllabus. The first activity is to analyze the test basis appropriate to the test level being considered. The second activity is evaluating the test basis and test items to identify defects of various types. The third activity is identifying features and sets of features to be tested. The fourth activity is to define and prioritize test conditions for each feature based on analysis of the test basis. And the fifth activity is to capturing bidirectional traceability between test basis and test conditions. Now let's understand each of these activities in detail. The first activity is to analyze the test basis appropriate to the test level being considered. Here we will see different test levels and their corresponding test basis. Suppose you want to test functional and non-functional component or system behavior. In this case, you may get a test basis in the form of requirement specifications, such as business requirements, functional requirements, system requirements, user stories, epics, use cases, or similar work products. Suppose you want to test a component or system structure. For this, you need design and implementation information, such as system or software architecture diagrams or documents, design specifications, call flow graphs, modeling diagrams such as UML or entity relationship diagrams, interface specifications, or similar work products. If you want to perform integration testing, then you may get a test basis in the form of the implementation of the component or system itself, including code, database metadata and queries, and interfaces. And if you want to perform system testing, then you may get risk analysis reports, which may consider functional, non-functional, and structural aspects of the component or system. We will talk more about test level in chapter 2. Right now, just remember analyze the test basis appropriate to the test level being considered is the activity of test analysis. The second main activity of test analysis is evaluating the test bases and test items to identify defects of various types. As we know in the test analysis stage, we get test basis as input for writing test cases. We can perform a review on the test basis to find ambiguities, omissions, inconsistencies, inaccuracies, contradictions, superfluous statements. Therefore, the second main activity of test analysis is evaluating the test bases and test items to identify defects of various types. The third main activity of test analysis is identifying features and sets of features to be tested. In the previous lecture, we saw how we get test conditions from the test basis Test conditions are nothing but conditions to be tested. Therefore, identifying features and sets of features to be tested is one of the main activities of the test analysis stage. The fourth main activity of test analysis is define and prioritize test conditions for each feature based on analysis of the test basis. Test analysis is the stage where test conditions are prioritized and we can prioritize them based on functional, non-functional, and structural characteristics, business and technical factors, or based on levels of risks. Remember the fourth main activity of test analysis is to 
define and prioritize test conditions for each feature based on analysis of the test basis. The fifth main activity of test analysis is capturing bidirectional traceability between test basis and test conditions. As we know, at the test analysis stage, we have a test basis as input and test condition as output. We should link them so that we know which test condition belongs to which test basis. This process is called traceability. What you need to remember here is, the fifth main activity of test analysis is capturing bidirectional traceability between test basis and test conditions. Now let's summarize all the important points we discovered till now. The five major activities of test analysis are Analyze the test basis appropriate to the test level being considered. The second activity is evaluating the test basis and test items to identify defects of various types. The third activity is identifying features and sets of features to be tested. The fourth activity is to define and prioritize test conditions for each feature based on analysis of the test basis. And the fifth activity is to capturing bidirectional traceability between test basis and test conditions.